the question is identify the type of implant now in the image here we have an IOPA with two implants so what can we note from the type of implants firstly both are identical both are osseo integrated in the bone that is we have bone around the implant totally they are threaded okay they are conical or tapered they are not connected and they are independent that means there is no mesh connecting them okay so now let's have a look at the options the first option is endosseous implant second is transosseous implant subperiosteal implant and supraperiosteal implant now let's try to break down these terminologies endosseous meaning endo is inside osseous meaning bone okay so are these present inside the bone yes they could the answer could possibly be endosseous implant because it fulfills the nomenclature second is transosseous implant trans meaning through again osseous meaning bone so does it pass through the bone okay we don't know yet maybe but in one iopa we cannot gauge so we'll have to take a better look at transosseous implant sub periosteal implants sub means below and periosteal means below the periosteum okay so is it below the periosteum the periosteum is somewhere here so it is definitely not below the periosteum so these are not sub periosteal implants and supra periosteal implant supra means above and periosteal is again above the period on peri periosteum so again these are not about the periosteum if they would be about the periosteum they would be in soft tissue which is again not correct so what is the answer to this the answer to this is endosseous implant let's have a look at what is the difference between an endosseous implant and a transosseous implant okay so a transosseous implant will have this kind of a connected plate so they will go to the body of the mandible and they are welded together or connected together with this kind of a bar which is the superstructure and it is commonly indicated only for mandibular arch this was an older design it's no longer used endosseous implant on the other hand are the commonly used implants currently they are threaded and they support the prosthesis so all the routinely used implants currently are all endosseous implants they depend on osseo integration for the success so this is an example of an endosseous implant which is given in the question and for your uh, knowledge in case if a similar question is asked on these lines this is a subperiosteal implant now as you can see in this case the mucosa is here and then just underneath the mucosa so underneath the oral mucosa there is the periosteum so these periosteal implants a sub periosteal implants will take support from the periosteum and they will be like a mesh so this is a cast mesh in titanium that supports the superstructure this design is also no longer used these are all older concepts but more or less we need to know the three designs that are discussed in this question so that we can answer similar questions on image based uh, kind of uh, questions if they appear in the exam so we have transosseous implant endosseous implant and subperiosteal implant